So you're thinking about moving or relocating to Columbus, Ohio in 2024 and wondering, is Columbus a good place to live? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down some of the things that make Columbus an awesome city to live and a couple of things that kind of stink about living here. I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm going to tell it to you straight and it all starts right now. So let's go! <laughs> If you're new to my channel, my name is Mark Van Stein. I make videos about living in Columbus, Ohio and the real estate market. I want to give you, the viewer, a really good idea on what it's like to live here. Columbus is a fantastic city, in my humble opinion, but not every city is rainbows and lollipops. So let's break down the good and the bad, starting with the good, and make sure you watch The Last Con because it is a big one. It's a health hazard and something you absolutely need to know about living in Columbus, Ohio, especially if you have children. Number one is people here are super friendly. Now you're probably thinking, Mark, what the heck does that mean that people in Columbus, Ohio are friendly? Well, if you're moving from like a Chicago or an Austin or maybe an Indianapolis, you know, you're not gonna see a big difference. But trust me, if you're moving from a West Coast, like an LA or San Francisco, or the East Coast, like in New York City or Boston, you'll definitely be able to tell the difference. You know, when you, if you're living here in Columbus, Ohio, you're gonna go into a store, people are actually gonna come up to you and say, hey, how can I help you? If you're walking through a grocery line, people are gonna are getting to chat you up a little bit. If you are, if your car breaks down on the side of the road, there will be actually people who will stop and help you. Listen, I lived in New York City for seven or eight years after college, and <laughs> moving there as a kid from the, the Midwest, it was a complete culture shock because you didn't have these casual conversations that people in Columbus are going to have with you. You know, as you're walking down the street, people are going to wave. They're going to say good morning. They're going to say hello to you. Your neighbors are going to, are going to wave to you. I understand that depending on where you're coming from, that might be a bit of a culture shock. But people in Columbus here are just very, very <laughs> genuine. It's just a very, very nice Midwestern city to live. And if you're coming from a city where like on the East Coast or like I said, or on the West Coast where that's not necessarily the norm, then it's really going to stand out. Number two is Columbus has a really strong economy and good jobs market. So why is that? Well, there are two really good reasons. One, Columbus is the state capital. So we've got a lot of those government jobs here and the ancillary companies that support the government. Number two, we are home to the, the Ohio State University. And you have to see the Ohio State University when you say it. That way people know that you're actually from Columbus. But Ohio State has 50,000 undergrad students. So those students come in every year. So the, the university is a huge employer here in town. And again, all the research that's around the university as well. So the other part of that is that we've got a very diverse in terms of the industries here. We've actually got 17 Fortune 500 companies that are headquartered in Central Ohio. So we've got manufacturing, we've got insurance, we've got medical, really across the, a broad spectrum of, of different types of industries. So when there's a downturn, um, like there is you know, every 12, 14 years or so, we're not quite as affected. The other part of that is we get so much relocation coming into Columbus. I've got clients who will relocate in and for whatever reason, you know, their, their job doesn't work out, but they love the city so much that it's pretty easy to, for them to find another job in that industry. So that's the, the one of the other great things about what we have going for it is that it is super stable economy. Before I get to the next pro, if you're considering moving to Central Ohio, I think you need some professional assistance, give me a call. I'm a full-time Remax agent, been helping people relocate to Columbus for over 20 years now. I'm actually a third generation real estate agent. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'm pretty easy to find and absolutely more than happy to help. Number three is the cost of living. So what exactly does that mean? Well, I break this all down in a separate video on this channel. So, if, and I actually use myself as an example, some real life scenarios. So if you got a little bit more time, check that out. But if you're moving from, let's say an East Coast or a West Coast, like I mentioned, I bring in a lot of clients from the you know, San Francisco, LA area or Boston, New York, you can move to Columbus, Ohio. And it's almost like, you know, hitting the lottery. You know, you're not paying eight dollars for a gallon of gas you know you're not paying you no know, huge taxes on everything it's just a very very affordable city especially again when you get into you know families who have children 
Uh, I know that when you're in some of these larger cities, sometimes you're paying for private schools. The school systems here are very, very good. I'm going to mention that in the, my next part. But it, again, just across the board, it's a very, very affordable city. And uh, on average with a lot of other cities in the Midwest. Number four is diversity. Now, you would you think you walk around Columbus, Ohio, and you think, well, Columbus isn't that diverse of a city. And granted, we're not going to be diverse as, you know, an LA or a New York City. But for a nice Midwestern city, there is quite a bit of diversity here. Now, why is that? Well, one is Ohio State University, like I mentioned earlier. Ohio State brings in a lot of professors and students from other countries. And you know what? They come here, they end up liking the city so much that they end up staying and, and raising families here. Uh, the other thing is that, again, as I mentioned earlier, that we've got you know these huge uh, headquarters of these Fortune 500 companies who bring in you know people from all over the country and the world, again, who end up loving living in this city and, and end up staying here. So a good example of that would, would be, for example, Honda. <laughs> Honda's got a big manufacturing plant up in that Marysville area. Uh, which was built like back in the 80s. And they brought in uh, Japanese executives over from Japan for, for years to work up at, at Honda, and many of them settled in the Dublin area. So Dublin's got this hu huge population of, of Japanese uh, residents because for the last 30 years, you know, Honda's been bringing these, and these employees. And it's that way kind of across the board, you know, especially with Intel coming into Columbus. Uh, the next, you know, next year in 2025 when they start hiring, I think we're going to see more diversity here in Central Ohio. Number five is going to be public schools. I actually have a video on this channel where I break down the top five school districts here in Central Ohio as ranked by the Ohio <laughs> Board of Education. Now, the good news is that there are many districts of just beyond this five that are, are very, very good. I mean, there are probably 10 to 12 where I wouldn't have any qualms about recommending to a client moving here to Central Ohio. The nice thing about living in Columbus, and again, I, I learned this from my clients who I bring in, is that they might be coming from an area where the public schools are, aren't very good at all, and you've got to send your, your kids to, to private schools. Well, you know, there are private school options here in Columbus. I do have clients who do that as well, but it's not a necessity. I mean, we've got some uh, absolutely top-notched uh, public schools here. So know that if you're coming, moving to Columbus, Ohio, and you do have school age children, or you know, you're planning on starting a family, that there are a lot of really good public school options. So those are the pros about living in Columbus. Now let's talk about some of the cons. And con number one has got to be the weather. The weather in Columbus is pretty crappy. I mean, we are like the fourth most cloudy city in the United States, like right behind Seattle. I think Cleveland's number two, Indianapolis might be number three. But as I look outside today, it is gray and overcast. And that's pretty common, especially in the winter months here in Columbus. For the last two weeks, I don't know that that sun has come out. And obviously, when you're dealing with that, especially in the winter time, it can be pretty depressing. Now on the positive side, we do get all four seasons here. We get you know a really nice fall usually and a really nice spring. The summers can also be a little bit brutal in, in terms of humidity. I mean, we're not talking like Atlanta or Houston humid, but you know August here can be pretty hot. But the winter time has got to be absolutely the worst for a couple of different reasons. One, because it's so gray outside, and two, because we don't even get that much snow. I mean, Columbus is in this kind of lake bed, which I'll talk about in a, a little bit later on the video, but a lot of the weather passes north and south to us. So instead of getting snow, we get a lot of like 35 degree days and, and freezing rain. So the weather is one huge con about living in here in Columbus, Ohio. Con number two are going to be the high property taxes here in central Ohio. Those great school districts I was talking about earlier, how do you think they get funded from the property taxes we've got in all these bedroom communities around Central Ohio? I mean, I relocate people from like the Colorado area and other states that where the, the property taxes are relatively low. And they come here and they are absolutely shocked and blown away. I, I mean, I've been told that our property taxes here are right in the same level as, as some of the highest places in the country. So know that if you're thinking about buying a home in Central Ohio, 
make sure you're going out to the Delaware County or the Franklin County, and those are the two big counties that make up Central Ohio, and check out what those property taxes are. Because if you're looking in one of the better school districts, like in Upper Arlington or New Albany or Olentangy schools or Dublin, they're going to be pretty significant, and it's going to be a big portion of that monthly payment that you're you're paying. Now, the good news, at least, the property taxes are going to something worthwhile. You know these great school systems, but now be very very mindful that if you have never experienced high property taxes that they can be very significant here in central ohio con number three is going to be our airport now we actually have a pretty nice airport here in columbus ohio it's clean it's easy to get in and out of but the problem is we just don't have that many direct flights you know for as large of a city as columbus is i mean i think we're like the 14th or 15th largest city in the country you think that we would have more direct flights or at least be a hub for a national carrier but we're not so if you have to travel for business or you like traveling you know for vacations you're going to be connecting through other cities and that can be a nightmare if you do you understand that if you do a lot of traveling and it becomes super frustrating when you don't even have like direct flights to the west coast now, I, I think that Delta or one of the other larger carriers just last year started having at least one direct flight to like L.A. Uh, during the day. But, I mean, can you imagine having to fly through, through uh, you know, a, a Chicago or an Atlanta or a Houston to get the, out to L.A.? It just becomes a little bit uh, of a hassle. And unfortunately, Columbus, you know, that's what we're dealing with. Now, the good news also, you know, with the Intel coming here, uh, I am told that they're going to build a, a couple new gates and that's kind of in the works. But right now, you know, it's just pretty difficult to to get around the United States, you know, having to go through these other hubs. And lastly, con number four is going to be radon gas. Now, if you don't know what radon is, I want you to, after this video, go out and Google radon gas and, and see what exactly it is. But in Columbus, Ohio, in Central Ohio, we have a huge radon presence. So what radon is, is it's a carcinogen. It's a carcinogen gas, it's odorless and colorless, and it's caused by the breakdown of shale and slate. So what happens is that the shale and slate breaks down and, and it permeates up through the ground into our basements here in Central Ohio. And in Columbus, we a lot of homes have basements. Because there's not a lot of natural air movement in those basements, that radon gas gets caught down there now a lot of people use their basements and they finish it off for living space and you can imagine you know with with high radon counts you know that can, that concerns people so what the epa says if if that radon count is above 4.0 and it's parts per per picoliter um you should put in a, a radon mitigation system so there are a lot of companies in town that do that but know that if you are purchasing a house that you're going to want to do a radon test when you buy that. Now, what I will tell you is that 98% of houses I deal with have high radon counts. It's just radon is that prevalent here in Central Ohio because, again, Central Ohio is located in a, like a big riverbed. High radon counts throughout the city. So, what I tell people moving in here is, is just expect it. Expect that there's going to be high radon in this house that you're purchasing and we're just going to need to figure out how to mitigate it correctly it's a carcinogen it's actually the number two leading cause of lung cancer so again it's not something to be uh fearful of just know that it exists and when that radon count comes back high you're going to need to mitigate it well that's it i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions about what i covered you can drop them down in the comments below i usually monitor that thread pretty regularly Listen, I know moving can be super stressful. Where should I live? What are the best areas? What are the best schools? Am I even going to like Columbus? Questions I literally get every day. And that's where my team and I can help. If you're thinking about moving or relocating here, make your life a little bit easier and give me a call. You can call me, text me, send me an email. My information is down below and also at the end of the video. And if you're looking for more information about Central Ohio, make sure you check out the other videos on this channel. Until next time.